what is up everybody and welcome back to the vlog i am very excited today we're powering up the gti all right so i just got a new speed power module which is very 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 exciting it's supposed to add about 40 horsepower 70 pounds of torque um, with bolt-ons it can be more on 91 plus octane and 100 so I'm gonna try to do this in 15 minutes because it's just a plug-and-play I know I have to take this cover off and plug this one in and there's one down here which is a little uncomfortable and hard to see let me get a flashlight so I gotta take that one out plug it in strap it on and hit the road So first thing is first, remove the cover. All right, oh, it's dusty, it's dusty. It's dusty. To take this one out and plug it in, I'm gonna put it, I, I saw somebody put it right there. So let's see here. Probably gonna put it right here oh it fits right there nice and snug i don't know if it's in the way of the battery but it's kind of like pretty tight but i like that this one goes up here i believe yep and this one goes down there so i'm gonna do this one first because this top one is super easy so let's get to it to take this off this plastic cover to access that one sensor you have to take this bolt one there's eight of them one here one here one there one there there's three on the right side one in the middle and four on the left depending on how you look at it four on the passenger side three on the driver one here two three and four way back here There's eight. Four on this side, one in the middle, three on the other side. All right, that one's up. And yeah, baby. Woo. All right, got the tray out. These two clips here. One here, one here. Just kind of put a flathead in there and take it out now oh that's blinding can we get there yep there it is right there oh, I can't see it. Where is it? yeah that's it so we gotta unplug that and do it so i'm gonna put the camera down and hopefully i'll do it by the time i get back all right yo my gopro died stupid GoPro after fighting with it I finally got it off so it's this sensor right here it's not that one it's the lower one to so just make sure you unplug the right one because I was trying to do that one and then I had to watch and double check it's this one so I'm gonna route it back down plug it in and then we should be good I got the bottom done it's right there plugged in don't force it. If it's not going in, don't force it. Make sure you play around with it and put it in the right way. All right, let's move to the top. Ugh. And do the top one, which is this one. So that one, got the cable running through here, down there. I'll have to tidy it up later. So let's do this one. This one should be fairly simple. Ah. Never simple. All right. Am I doing it wrong? There's nothing at the bottom. Is this it? That's it. That's it right there. There you go. Set that up. There you go. Now, check it. Set this 
up somewhere. Broken clip. No, it's not. Okay. Put it in. I have to push this in or something. I guess that's it. Sorry, y'all. My GoPro died, so I have to kind of do this one. There you go. Don't force it if it doesn't fit. That's it then. Let's crank her up, see what happens. Control. No lights. I have a service light, but that's for my front assist not aligned properly I have to get that checked out so I'm gonna lower the car down and go for a drive before putting the undercarriage and cover back and see what happens I should have checked before I turn my car on but make sure these are selected the right position to 100 plus octane or premium which is 91 or 93 looks like that's how it is both down so both switches must be facing the same direction, 5 PSI more for 91 octane and 7 PSI increase for 100 plus. All right, so we should be good to go. I'm gonna lower the car and hit the road. All right, y'all, moment of truth, everything's plugged in. I put some temporary zip ties so it just doesn't flop around. And uh, I think we should be good. I need some coolant. All right, y'all. I got all my tools with me in the back. Woo! Here we go. It's under less stress. Like there's. Oh yeah! Woo! There it is. There it is. Oh! It tickled my tummy. Ah, oh, third gear was nice. finished everything up so I have the power module here routed through here zip tied here running I cut it through here so I don't get it in the fan otherwise that would be a bad day 
So it's in there, rolls all the way around the, the fan to the bottom. And then this one up here is routed through here. And the upper cable is routed through here. I ran it down here, put a zip tie here, kind of turned it around. And that's it. What is up guys? Welcome back to the videos. I know I've been taking a little break and it's been a while, but I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I got a lot planned, a lot on the schedule, so I'm super excited. So a couple things real quick for this new speed power module I got. Um, I think it works great. It's awesome, easy install. It took me a minute because I had to do it from underneath and figure it all out. It was getting dark and all that. But it's great. I mean, I think the power delivery is good. It's very consistent. Uh, now, my tires do suck right now. I have hand cooks on currently. I do have a pair of Toyos Proxes, but I'm going to put those on later when it gets a little bit warmer. So I want to see how that works. But right now, first, first gear and second gear, I do spin a little bit. I should say a lot. First gear, a lot. But other than that, I like the power delivery on the new speed power module. It's really good. Um, you really feel that torque and horsepower difference on there. Other than that, it's great though. So I highly recommend it if you guys are looking for, I know they just dropped this a couple months ago. So new speed power module. I know there's JB1, JB4, I also looked at, but I just got a good deal on the new speed. So I just went with it. So other than that that's pretty much it so i know it was dark hopefully i explained everything so there's a clip on the top clip on the bottom and then route it however you want it make it look good i try to make it as clean as possible and uh, that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching this video hit the like button comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video Whoa!